Welcome back to GIS Analysis at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. I took this from ArcGIS Help. 3D polygons are represented as multi-patches. And multi-patches are collections of patches to represent the boundary of a 3D object in a single row in the polygon attribute table. So patches store information and a patch may be triangles, triangle fans, strips, rings, as illustrated below. So here's an example of a multi-patch, a multi-patch, and a multi-patch. A patch, multi-patch, will have to be closed in order for us to be able to calculate volume and to do some geoprocessing like intersect or cut into patches. We can use a geoprocessing tool is closed to check to make sure our multi-patch is actually closed. Let's start by using the Create Fishnet geoprocessing tool and create a polygon named two squares, polygon feature class. And our polygon, each polygon will be 10 wide, 10 high, and we'll have one row, two columns, and we'll create both points and polygons. Here's the output from our geoprocessing create fishnet tool. And let's rename our two squares label. We'll rename that to two points. So I renamed it in our catalog window. And then I'll also rename it as our layer name. Next, add a short integer field named depth and use the field calculator to assign a depth of minus 10 meters to our first point and minus 15 meters to our second point. Next, let's use the feature to 3D by attribute geoprocessing tool to create a 3D point. I named mine two points X, Y, Z, and then we'll use the depth field as our height field. So that contains the Z information. Next, let's remove our depth, delete this field depth, and then we'll run the add XY geoprocessing tool to expose the XYZ coordinates from our shape field. So now we have the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and the Z coordinate of our points. Let's create a 3D object using the buffer 3D. So the buffer 3D tool creates a three-dimensional buffer around points or lines. Buffer our 3D points and let's buffer them a distance of six meters. And then my output I named buffers 3D so we're going to buffer each point in all three dimensions by six meters. And if you scroll down, there's buffer quality. And if we show help, buffer quality is the number of segments used to represent the resulting multi-patch. So the default is 20, but any number between the range of 6 to 60 can be used. A higher buffer quality produces smoother multi-patches but also lengthens the processing time. So we'll leave it as a default of 20 and then we'll execute this geoprocessing tool. So the result is indeed multi-patch, two multi-patch polygons. So if we look at the attribute table, here's a multi-patch polygon and we have all the original information but we could also add information like what is the surface of this 3D object? What is the volume of this 3D object? Let's turn all the fields invisible except for the object ID. And then we'll add a field for what is the perimeter in two dimensions and what is the area in two dimensions of our buffer. And then right mouse click calculate geometry, give us the two dimensional perimeter. So the perimeter in two dimensions is 48. 
and then we'll add a double precision field for what is the area in two, per, in two dimensions. So right mouse click, calculate geometry, what is the area? So the area is 111.246. Let's run the geoprocessing tool add Z information. So what is the surface area of our three-dimensional object? What is the volume? What is the minimum elevation and the maximum elevation and the mean elevation? The surface area is much greater than the two-dimensional area. And we have the elevation of the mean is the same as our original depths of minus 10 and minus 15. And then if we went 10 plus 6 would be to negative 4, 10 minus 6 would be to negative 16. Same thing with our original elevation at this point was minus 15. So if we add 6, we get to minus 9. If we subtract 6, we get to minus 21. And then we have the exact same volume for our two 3D dimensional objects. Next, we can use ArcScene to look at our three dimensional objects. So if I go to Start Programs ArcGIS and then ArcScene, so I'll add my buffers in 3D. So here are the 3D buffers and we could symbolize them different symbols. So if we go to Properties and then Symbology, we'll symbolize them based on the object ID. Let's symbolize them based on the mean elevation. So here are two three-dimensional objects. This one is at minus 10. And then this object, its center is at minus 15. Next, we can do some geoprocessing. For example, we could if our 3D objects are closed. So let's check to make sure they're closed. So are they closed? I also have these, this layer in ArcMap. So let me exit out of ArcMap to, so I don't have a lock. Okay, so then to determine whether they're closed or not at the attribute table. So is closed. Yes, this polygon, that multi-patch is closed. This multi-patch is closed. So after we confirm that they're closed, then we could do some geoprocessing with these 3D objects. Next, let's make two layers. So we'll copy and paste. And then our first layer, we'll go to definition query, object ID equals one. And let's name this buffer one. And we'll give this a unique symbol. So we'll make it sunset orange. Then repeat the process for our second layer. So the second layer will name buffer two. We'll give it some unique symbology. So let's give it daylily green and then our definition query. The Difference 3D tool is analogous to, in two dimensions, the Erase tool. So we'll take our original Buffer 1 and erase it using Buffer 2. And the result will be Buffer 1 and the area that's been erased will be the area where it intersected with Buffer 2. So we can see that area if we uncheck Buffer 2 and uncheck Buffer 1 and then ro rotate around. So here is a three-dimensional area that's been erased with buffer two. So basically buffer two intersects with that multi-patch area and that is erased. What volume has been erased from this object? Well, what we could do is we'll get 
the volume for this object now and compare it with the original volume. So we use the Add Z Information tool and add the volume to our polygon attribute table. Here's our original buffer 1 and it had a volume of 884.5 and then here is our buffer 1 erased. It has a volume of 879.73. So if we subtract this value from this value that would give us the volume that is lost due to this erasing operation. We can do a clipping operation using the Intersect 3D geoprocessing tool. So Intersect 3D buffer 1 with buffer 2 and the output will be that volume where the two shapes intersect. And we can assign that volume some color, midday yellow for example. So we'll uncheck our buffer 1 and we'll uncheck our buffer 2. So here is the area where those two shapes intersected. The volume where those two shapes intersected. So buffer 1 and buffer 2 and then that's the volume of intersection. And it's a multi-patch and if we want to we could add surface information to get the volume of that multi-patch. So it has all the information from the first 3D object and any information from our second 3D object.